Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play of Yu-Gi-Oh! The Sacred Cards. This is Sagra Bowser and today I think we should take care of a couple of things, shall we? But first we have this duelist here. That's not nice of him to just be standing there minding his own business. So we're gonna mind into his business. Okay. So this duel's gonna this duel's not gonna last very long. I can tell you guys that right now because well, number one, I've seen this video already myself. So of course I would know that. And two well, let's just say I have a strong monster waiting the wings. Let's just say. But that would be for another time. Um. So, the day that, um, the day that I'm recording this is actually on New Year's Eve. So, hooray! Happy New Year's, everybody. For those who have celebrated it. And for those who haven't yet, well, a happy new year for you also. So I'm wondering, I'm wondering about New Year's resolutions. I don't, I don't really have any, I guess you could say. You know the usual, lose weight, go back to school, those kind of things. But I don't play either, either, either one. Um, but yeah. I would love to get back into school, which I'm already signed up for a few classes. But that's beside the point. We get Zanky, a warrior. Reminds me of another word, swanky. But that's okay. Go do it with someone else. I will indeed with Mr. Bones here. He is the first person that you can ever challenge to get a locator card from. Um. Yeah, I'm not really voice acting him, but I think you guys can read the text if you had to. So yeah, this guy isn't that hard, but there are a couple key monsters to him. I know he doesn't display one of them, but um, Pumpkin, the King of Ghosts, he actually does have. And I also believe, I thought there was another card he had. Um, I'm not gonna go into assumptions though. So. But there are different theme monsters that you can use that you can use here. And if you have Unhappy Maiden in the very beginning of this duel, or some other light monster like Skellinger here, then I think you're in good shape for a bone here. Just to get a little damage on your home. I don't think Bones uses one trap card. I don't believe. Hey, that was not nice of you to use that card against me, but whatever. My Dorans are gonna do double damage. 900 apiece. I still don't know what kind of creatures they are. Um. Okay, my turn. I have some really bad cards. Dang, I didn't think I was doing that bad. Actually, I'm not. I'm just making it look like I'm doing that bad. Um, okay. So, 500 Domino, and we get Pumpkin, the King of Ghosts. Isn't that always awesome? It's my loss. Yep, indeed it was your loss, because now, we're going to take on somebody else since we still have enough time for it. Next we have to take on Espa Roba, who has the second locator card. But in order to obtain that, we have to first um, defeat the two quote-unquote guards, which they're not very good at all. And I hate saying that, but they're not really that good. In the beginning here, yeah, I get a little strike there, but once Spear Cretan gets destroyed, you'll notice I'm in really big trouble for the next couple of turns. That's one reason. That's another reason. So Moody and Curry didn't really do its job very well. 
Now, my monsters right now are very weak, but I'm not surprised. Genzo number seven. Magician of Faith. I didn't know they had a Magician of Faith. Which is a princess. Um, its effect allows me to to raise my monster up one level. I think I explained this before though. Not sure though. But because my monster is a lot more powerful than they are, that means I get to attack one of their monsters. Kind of smart if you think about it. You'll see later on that I will be using Witch's Apprentice to the fullest extent. But for right now, I don't really have a use for it, other than as tribute, I guess you could say, for something stronger. Okay, he's playing defensive. That's a sight to see. I apparently can't do much to him other than destroy defense monsters all day. Which, I mean, that's not too bad. Alright, Dharma Cannon. Now, I made a mistake here. I probably would I probably should have gotten rid of Magician of Faith. Because this happens. Light is super effective against Fiend here. If you're actually talking types. In my case, Shadow's good against life, but I won anyways. So, who cares? Alright. So, Caterpillar, that's not even like, that's not even how you spell Caterpillar. Okay, that was Lightning Conger. Um these guys will have at least a couple of those guys. And maybe a different area will present them later. From what I know, they have a very high defense of 750. Few, few of my cards could beat that right now, unless I attributed. And it's a three level star monster, so... One of the few three level star monsters to be introduced. So yeah, this guy is down. 50 Domino, not much. Tripwire Beast, but I can't do anything about it because the cost is too high for my deck capacity right now. So yeah, here we take on the second guard. Now, as far as Ante cards are concerned, or Anti cards I guess people would say, it doesn't matter which card you use there, as long as you use a card there. I just pick one at random. The one that's nearest me. But I don't think anyone needs to figure that out. New monster card that I added. Nightmare Scorpion. And it showed it off really well. Earth is super effective against Thunder. As you're gonna see in this turn. Yeah, Pain Pain destroyed it. What a useless card it looks like. But it's actually a good thing we're seeing Pain Pain right now. Because other duels are going to have it too later on and you would have to be careful around such a card but that's not the only reason why I did Nightmare Scorpion you'll see later on why I picked him but for right now his attack power is more than enough for me to use it there that was me dancing elf I didn't ask you for I didn't ask for you to destroy that card. I almost needed that um, little chimera there. Discard you. And we're back on the offensive once again. I can't beat him this turn though. It's worth a shot. How's the adhesive tape? Oh! Any monster with an attack with below an attack of 500 attack points will be destroyed by it. It's nice in the beginning, but eventually I, I prefer to upgrade that to something a little more practical. If you want to use that, there's the second tripwire beast. Why? I'm getting my big brother to beat on you. You shouldn't have said that because now I'm going to 
beat your oldest brother, I guess you could say. So, I just picked a random card once again, which I can't even... Inexperienced Spy will allow me to... It'll allow the opponent to see my hand, which, if you have any effect cards, they're useless now. But yeah, I get to show another special effect there. Okay, Sacrifice me for Musa for real wizard. And that pretty much gave me the upper hand for this duel already. If you give Esper Roba the chance, you will allow him to play his key card, which is Jinzo. And the regular Jinzo. And you don't want to get stuck with a Jinzo. Because then you have no chance of getting out of there. Jinzo's just take the attack with higher than your strongest card in the entire deck. So don't allow him to play any more cards than you need to. And always stay in the offensive with your strongest cards. That's basically my advice for this. Um, he can be a nuisance at times, because I believe he has La La Lion. He has the same cards as those other two brothers had. Pretty much. No real threat. Okay, he should go down really easily now. Alright, final kill, and he is eliminated. 800 Domino, that feels nice. And we can't even use Jinzo. What a waste of my time. I don't believe it. How could I lose? Well, Big Brother. Wait, that's a TV show. Um, okay. A locator card was obtained. So, that was awesome. Two locator cards in one sitting. I'm really glad I did that, actually. So, this will conclude this episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! The Sacred Cards. I have been Cyborg Bowser, and I will see you in the next episode. Thank you.